back with Icarus the Spaceman and we're doing a small segment called Behind the Gamer Tag. And in this segment we're going to be asking various questions to various players so you can get to know all the players with the team. So this is going to be the first interview and we're going to start off with the big homie, the Brody, the one and only, the only Spaceman, Icarus, my bro, my bro, welcome. How do you feel? How do you feel? Good guy, man. I'm feeling good. It's a beautiful day, man. And just, just loving this weather, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. All, right. Also, well, all right. Well, first question. First question will be is, uh, what do you do first when you land in a battle royal? So what you gotta do first when you land, you have to strike fear into the heart of the enemy, right? So you have to land ridiculously far away, right? You have to let the enemy think that they have the upper hand. You have to let them think that they have all the weapons, right? But you have to look at them in their eyes while you do this, right? So you slowly fade into the background. That That's what you have to do. And then when you get there, that that's when the real fun starts. And then when you get down there, then you loot up like normal. But, you know, you have to grab all the basic stuff because it's all looted. You know, the enemy players are probably going to be looking out. And that's the perfect situation. That's exactly what you want. Because um, they have to think they have the upper hand. And they do. And, um, yeah, that's the best situation you could be in. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because your right. back is against the wall. There's there's nowhere else to, to hide. That's true. And, uh, that's true. Yeah. That's very true. That's very true. I respect it. I respect it, bro. I respect it. Uh, I've been curious, though, lately. Uh, where does the title Spaceman come from? Um, so it's, um, due to my deep, uh, proficiency and, uh, fondness of spacing out. Hmm. Spacing out? What yeah. do you mean by that? Yeah, just zoning out. Just zoning out. We'll just, somebody will be talking and I'll just, I'll just be zoning out. Just something will be happening. I'll just be zoning. I'll be walking. I'll just be zoning out. Oh. And, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just space out. So what helps so you space, space out man. then, bro? Like... Uh, I don't know. I mean, just getting lost in thought, thinking about stuff, and uh, just, you know, being, uh, I don't know, rambunctious. Okay. Okay. Uh, n nifty fucker? I don't know. All right. All right. Uh, what are your top three gun choices in a game? Mm, top three gun choices? All right. So, one, you have to go with the sword. All right. For intimidation purposes see what i'm saying like you have to go with the melee weapon that's what you have to go with top that's the top one for the intimidation purposes all right number two number two is uh that magnum pistol you can do things with that you can do things with that see because they're not going to be thinking he's a oh he's he's gonna kill me oh he has a good gun or this other thing oh he's you're just gonna think he has a pistol and that's that's what you want right right you I want him to underestimate you i understand i understand totally totally get it so lately so, i've been watching youtube videos of your old gameplay bro and i've noticed something why do you throw armor to the enemy <laughs> you have to give them you, you have to you have to destroy the enemy's uh, will to uh, wanna wanna beat you anymore. So you have to throw the armor to them uh, in order to give them hope. That's exactly why you have to do that. Okay. Give them a little little piece of hope, and you snatch it away from them, okay. and then all of their plans and all of their ideas go out the window. Okay, I understand. I understand. All right. Uh, what is your top vehicle in a battle royal? Top vehicle. You know what? I gotta go with the boat. A boat always and forever. Any situation, a boat is gonna do you better. Doesn't matter if the whole battle royale is on land and there's one tiny speck of water. You get in that little water and you get in that boat. You're gonna be right. Mm. I'm telling you. Alrighty, alrighty. How many games you've gone without armor? Um, well, uh, Actually, uh, actually, I don't think I've gone through any, actually, because I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, no, no, yeah. No, that, 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 is, that is my real answer. Because how, how can't you find armor? That's, that's ridiculous. 
It's ridiculous. I respect it's ridiculous. It. I respect it. Okay, 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 okay. I respect Okay, hypothetical. I, respect I got a hypothetical here, brother. I got a hypothetical here, brother. Well, okay. I got you. What I got would you, you do if you and two others were in the last three players in a game and you're out of ammo? What would you do next? Honestly, you just got to get it started, right? You got to break their will to find you. Mm. You have to break their will to want to play the game. Because they're just probably just having a normal session. You know, they have like 20, 30 minutes, an hour in their day. Because we work hard, right? They're not expecting you to hide the entire time. Okay. They're not expecting that. Okay. See what I'm saying? So See what, what I'm saying? So what do you, what do you then recommend? You're the, then you're the enig enigma. Oh. Enigma? Yes, then you're the enigma. Okay. Totally get it now. What do you recommend for new players, brother? Um, yeah, you gotta you gotta run straight into the deepest, sweatiest part of the map possibly can, and um, just uh, get shit whipped, basically. Okay. Um, that's 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 how you build character. That's how you that's how you develop yourself. And um, yeah, and if not, then um, you know you're not good and uh get good kid and um that's basically that basically sums that up okay okay yeah do you have any uh fortnite ops or any gaming ops that you want to go against right now um yeah no i not not really i mean it's peace love and harmony i mean yeah, everything's good with me i mean yeah i don't really have have any beefs not okay. at the moment yeah okay keep you updated all righty Keep me updated. Keep me updated. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to make some. All right. Who would you want to go against in a 1v1 game? <clears throat> you know, I, I, I can't think of any offhand. Shoot, I mean. Shoot, I feel like, yeah, no, I, I can't think of anyone offhand. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. I respect it. And last but not least, who do you shout outs, bro? Dude, shout out to Chinese food restaurants, man. They always keep it keep it going. The menus are always extensive. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't have to be a Chinese food restaurant, you know? Just anywhere that serves egg rolls, just know I support you. All right, all right. So, that's everything. Any else you think you want to say, bro? To the camera? You want to um, shout outs to anybody else? You want to, you know, tell anybody else? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to my boy, one eight hundred Smoke Trees. Uh, shout out to uh, um that one janitor that w was at was at this one place. I can't even remember it. Um, yeah, shout out to, uh, um, people that work night shifts. Uh, uh, if you go to Arby's, you know, I, I respect your, your bravery. So that, that's, that, that, that basically, I think that sums it up. Alrighty. That will be all guys. <laughs> Hopefully we'll come up with another follow up video and let's get that update soon for that beef shit stuff, brother. Yeah.